according to the Quran, there mm -hmm. is a previous book of Revelation, right? Yes. And so do you believe that the angel and the Psalms mm -hmm. are part of that? Okay. According, according to the Muslim... Would you like me to answer? Yeah, I just clarified okay. the question. Thank you. So we believe that the Injil was revealed to Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe Zabur was revealed to David, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe the Torah was revealed to Moses, peace and blessings be upon him. But we also believe that later, as the Quran says, people wrote with their own hands and attributed it to God. So that what we have today is not the Injil. Okay. Are you aware that the Quran claims consistency with those books of the Bible? Okay, so let me explain that to you, right? The Quran in those verses says that those books that were revealed judge about them with the Quran. Meaning that which was changed, how would you know you judge with the Quran? Meaning true that those are the word of God though, okay. right? So that which was revealed to Jesus was the word of God. But that so which men can I finish? <laughs> this is this let me finish my answer here, right? So when the Quran talks about that which was revealed to Jesus, it is not this, right? Because much of this is from unknown authors that wrote later, as we have discussed. Does You're Quran, talking ahead. So Hebrews, who wrote Hebrews? Isn't it true that the, the book Quran, of Hebrews, we have huh? uh, good evidence for either Paul or... Hold on. Oh. This is your study Bible, right? So, Have you heard of the Macau Study Bible? Can, can I answer God's him? He, 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 he said something. Can I? Let me answer him and I'll get to you, okay? Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt your... So, Isn't it true that the Quran says that God's word cannot be changed? The words of Allah cannot be changed, but somebody can write so, something. Can I, can I finish? Somebody could write something. No, no, look, look, you are interrupting. Please let me, let me finish my sentences and then you can speak. Let me finish speaking. The Quran says the words of Allah cannot be changed. But the Quran also says people can write and falsely attribute to God. So that which was revealed to Jesus was correct. But that which people wrote, anonymous authors, and attributed it to God, we don't believe the words of God. Are you clear now? Okay. So are okay. you that, that familiar with that we can find out what the original writings were that were directly? Sure. So, so you do know? So you do agree then that we do know what the original words of God were with the song? We do not. We, let, me, let me explain this. What you have are accounts written later by authors, many of them being unknown. Many of their authorship being disputed. I have a study Bible. You're, you're nodding your head, but I have it in front of you, right? So Here, can, can I? Books sure. Other let me. Than Hebrews, that is sure. Even, even, even when we talk about Mark, that here he says he neither heard the Lord nor accompanied him. Are you this is in your study thing? Bible. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with this? Yes, I'm okay. So Mark here, according to his Christian study Bible, never met that's Jesus. A author's footnote, right? MacArthur's study Bible, yeah. Yes, and just Do you to not also study? To clarify, okay. Mark was mm -hmm. With the group of apostles, so he did know the teaching. Okay. But also to get to John, but again, who was a disciple, he never. He did know okay. Jesus. Do you agree Even, with what he wrote? Was? Sure, I do not. Right? Let me explain why. Because if you look at the earliest manuscripts, like the Sinaiticus, this is from the fourth century. What Jesus wrote? We do not. Original. Jesus never wrote any of these. So how these do you are know accounts. How, what do you know how, hold on, hold on. Do you know what did he originally say? We what do not. Know? We do not, because these accounts that are in the New Testament today, the earliest manuscript, the Codex Sinaiticus, is from the fourth century. Right? Go look it up when you get home. This is. These are facts. So, what is the earliest manuscripts? Um, they were about 30 years after, so no, yeah. 60, 80. Have you read like Bart Ehrman or any kind of research on this? Actually, he's a New Testament scholar who does believe this. Who? Yeah, he's a New Testament scholar. Bart Ehrman? Bart, Bart Ehrman, yes. Okay. How many manuscripts of the New Testament do we have from the first Christian century? None from the decades after the books were written. How many do we have? The years afterwards, the decade, none, zero. How many do we have from the early second century? Say, manuscripts that clearly date up to around the year 150. We have one scrap. This is it. This may look big because it's a big screen. This is the actual size. 
It's the size of a credit card. How many complete manuscripts do we have from the second and third centuries? None. Zero. Well, if we have 5,500 manuscripts, where are they from? When are they from? Well, 94% of our surviving manuscripts come from the 9th century and later. 94% come from the 9th century, which is great if you want to know what the Bible looked like when Christians were reading it in the year 890. But if you want to know how they were reading it in the year 70, you've got a problem because you don't have manuscripts from that period. We do not have the originals of the New Testament period.